This old coffee table was in need of a good cleaning and makeover. If you struggle with brush strokes, be sure to stay tuned as I show you how using our extender makes your painting life so much easier. To finish off this piece, we're gonna highlight the details with antiquing glaze. Let's get started. Clean your piece with TSP Alternative. Mix two capfuls into one liter of water to create your TSP Alternative Cleaning Solution. Be sure to wash down with a nice clean rag to remove all dirt and grease. Once dry, you can move on to your next step. Now it's time to get started painting. I'm choosing our Champlain color, a beautiful off-white. Choosing your brush for a surface like this is very important. I'm going to be using the Pro Hybrid Series Stallmeister brush in the flat 2027. This 100% fine bristle gives a beautiful smooth finish. Painting the sides and the legs with one coat, you can see the coverage is really excellent. However, adding a second coat is always going to give you even better coverage. We always recommend applying one thin coat, letting it dry for about 30 minutes, and then adding your second coat. Painting large flat surfaces can be tricky to not get brush strokes, so I'm gonna teach you this little trick. Just simply add our extender into your paint and you'll have a much longer open time, meaning that you can brush back and forth without creating texture and being able to smooth out those brush lines. When using extender, be sure not to add too much because it will really increase your open time. Use a maximum of 10% extender into your paint mix. If you have 10 parts paint, add one part extender. A little goes a long way. If you have an even larger surface like a dining table, you can try this amazing wide flat Stelmeister brush. It has a full synthetic bristle and gives you a beautiful flawless smooth finish. For the skirt of the coffee table, we really wanted to accentuate and highlight the details. Our glaze is an easy to use, beautiful product. All you have to do is brush it on and then wipe away the excess. Depending on how much you wipe away is what's going to be left behind in terms of the detailing. If you want to leave more behind, you'll see more antiquing. No top coat is required over top of the antiquing glaze on the base of the coffee table. However, if you were to do the tabletop, we would recommend that you apply a top coat to seal it and protect it. Keep in mind, if you do use the SFO in natural, that it will have a slight yellowing tinge over light colors. And there you have it. This quick coffee table makeover is bound to make a statement in your living room. Mm -hmm.